Hi, so someone has asked me this question. So in this we are given there is an experimental car design which is shaped like a cube and the uh, basically mass of the car is let's say m and force of air friction is proportional to av square and also it is given in the first line that the power output is also proportional to mass of the car which is m. So now we know the mass of the car, car and the force of air friction. So now we have to find out the maximum velocity that this experimental car can attain. And we have to assume that any such car has the same density, which means uh, any such model is being made with the same material, we can say. So we need to find what would be the max velocity and its proportionality with the mass. So let's say this is the car, a cube, and of side length, let's say L. So now mass is as density is some constant mass would be rho into L cube simply density into volume. So the power output of the engine I am assuming the power output from the car means power output from the engine is directly proportional to mass. So it would be something some constant C into the mass and mass I can write as rho into L cube from here. Okay. So now there is a resistive force acting on it which is AV square and a as I know is l square so it would be l square v square so the next point that we have to consider is that I am calculating the power of resistive force so I'll tell why I'm calculating but it is basically a uh, force is acting this way and body is moving towards the right so the power would be minus v into l square v square which is minus l square into v cube so we will be using this now so what is happening that as the car is moving ahead due to the engine so there would be a so imagine like you have a car and the engine is doing some work and uh, basically fuel is coming out and car is moving ahead and accelerating so velocity would start increasing so as velocity is increasing the uh, frictional force or air resistance force is also increasing as it is proportional to velocity square so as velocity is increasing, the force acting on it is also increasing. So there would come a point where we could we cannot further increase the velocity because the resistance force is so high. So basically at that point, the power of the engine force, basically the power output of the engine would match the power of the resistive force. So because earlier than that power of the engine was more, so car was accelerating, but after this point the resistive force starts dominating so there would be a max velocity which the car can attain I, we can call it a terminal velocity as well so we need to find that so again the power of the engine would be equal to power of the resistive force again i'm taking the modulus as or, or i can write the sum would be zero uh, again any way you can do it so c into rho l cube which is power to the engine again directly proportional to mass it was given and power resistive which is a uh, force is L square V square times V. So from here I get V cube is C into rho into L. Now since I was asked proportionality in terms of mass, I'll write L as M by rho uh, to the power one by three. As M was rho L cube, so taking rho down and taking cube root, I get L as this. So again, V cube comes out to be C into rho to the power two by three times M to the power one by three. And again, taking cube root V comes out directly proportional to m to the power 1 by 9 so our answer comes out to be c equals to 9 so this is the proportionality we are getting so this is a good conceptual problem that uh, actually happens in the real world as well you can say to some extent that uh, in free fall and such situation there is a terminal velocity attained so it is due to the same reasons like in this case it was in uh, power of engine and then there was a resistive force acting on it so there was only a max velocity that this car could attain a hypothetical car could attain so again we have found this out so if anyone has to increase the max velocity they would have to increase the mass and the factor is like 1 by 9th of uh, mass is proportional to velocity so i hope uh, I, you could understand the solution and please subscribe to my channel and share this video with anyone else who you think would find this video useful and so that it reaches to more and more number of aspirants and thank you